Don't you hate it when your favorite scene from the trailer doesn't end up in the actual movie? Oh god, I can't go through it. I'm telling you. Yep, us too. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scenes and trailers that weren't in the movie. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at movie trailers that featured scenes, sequences, or lines of dialogue that weren't included in the final theatrical cut of the film. Number 10. Therapy Session, The Incredible Hulk. I've got a problem. Early in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, fans were excited to learn that The Incredible Hulk would showcase a more nuanced characterization of the title character. The official trailer hinted at this by featuring a sort of therapy session between Bruce Banner and Leonard Sampson, as well as a conversation where Dr. Banner acknowledges that only he has the power to defeat the abomination. There are aspects of my personality that I can't control. What makes the character of the Hulk work is that he comes to terms with the beast within, accepts it, and uses it to smash. So, it was ultimately disappointing that these hints at the character's depth weren't included in the final film. You know, I know a few techniques could help you manage that anger very effectively. You zip it. Number 9. Not the future we were warned about. Terminator Salvation. I knew it was coming. The war against the machines is a staple of the Terminator franchise, but until Terminator Salvation, we'd only ever seen the battle in Flash Forwards. That's one reason why, with each new sequel, our curiosity about the impending war grew. This is not the future my mother warned me about. The trailer for the fourth installment featured scenes that implied more twists and turns for the series, something we'd all come to expect from the Terminator movies. If you saved us once in another future, you can save us in this one. John Connor and his wife, Kate, both have lines of dialogue that seem vital to the time travel plot, but the final film includes none of it, and that's too bad because the implications were epic. We've been at war since before either of us even existed. Number eight, more questions, not answers. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Every day I wake up knowing that the more people I try to save, the more enemies I will make. Both entries in the Amazing Spider-Man series danced around a larger conspiracy surrounding Peter Parker, his powers, and the death of his parents. And when we saw the trailer for the sequel, we thought the franchise was finally going to deliver answers to questions we'd all been asking. Oscorp, get you under surveillance. Why? In one scene, Harry informs Peter that Oscorp had him under surveillance. In another, it seems that Norman is implying that he knows the truth about Peter and his parents. What about Peter? Not everyone has a happy ending. However, as is the theme of this list, these scenes weren't included in the final edit, leaving us with more questions than answers. You want me to come down there so you can kill me? Yes! Number seven, we're gonna get you, Evil Dead. You have to get me out of here. The Red Band trailer for the Evil Dead remake features several nods to the classic original. There's the classic cabin setting, the haunting we're gonna get you chant, we're gonna get you. and of course, the bloody chainsaw that Evil Dead fans have come to know and love. <laughs> However, surprise, none of these scenes ended up in the film. Were they cut so the film wouldn't get an NC-17 rating? Mm, probably. Even so, they did end up in an alternate version of The Evil Dead that's aired on TV a few times, but isn't technically considered an extended cut, so at least we've been able to see them. Groovy. Number 6, Young Storm, X-Men Origins Wolverine. That will never happen again. While well, X-Men Origins Wolverine didn't exactly deliver the quality Logan origin story we were hoping for, it did include several lesser-known mutants. On top of that, this film is filled with mutant cameos that range from cool to blasphemous. However, in the trailer, we see a brief glimpse of a girl who could only be a young Storm. Sadly, this part of the film was scrapped during the editing phase, but it would have been interesting to see how Logan met one of the X-Men we'd already seen him interacting with in the original trilogy. Why? Number 5. More banter, please. Iron Man 2. Okay, give me a smooch for good luck. I might not make it back. Ever since Tony Stark's Iron Man suit was first assembled on the big screen in 2008, fans just can't seem to get enough of the wisecracking genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. That's part of the reason why they were so disappointed and confused when this great exchange between Tony and Pepper Potts was completely omitted from Iron Man 2, despite being in the trailer. Go get him, boss. Sure, the cargo plane scene didn't end up as an alternate opening in the special features, but we gotta say, no film could ever go too heavy on the Tony Stark banter. So we missed this gem of an interaction. America. Well, you can forget it. Number four, the wait is over, Star Trek. Live long and prosper. Anticipation for the reboot of this beloved sci-fi classic was high during the production of this J.J. Abrams film. 
and the crew went to great lengths to both please diehard fans and make the film accessible to new audiences. Naturally, a lot of footage was shot that didn't make it into the final movie. In one deleted scene, which figures prominently in the trailer, an incarcerated Nero speaks to both the characters in the film and audience when he says, the wait is over. It's a powerful line of dialogue that we were sad to see go. The wait is over. Number three, DCEU reshoots. Suicide Squad. Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. The DC Cinematic Universe has generated mixed reactions at best. Batman v Superman continued that trend, receiving heavy criticism for being too dark for a comic book film. Considering DC had another movie coming out that year that looked equally gloomy, at least according to footage released at Comic-Con, we'd understand if studio execs panicked. What we got next were a couple of trailers full of fun and classic rock, and fans ate them up. Problem is, whether it was Katana's badass sword, the Joker's half-scorched face, or witty bar banter, these fun moments were cut from the theatrical release, possibly in favor of scenes filmed during the infamous reshoots. What you having? Beer. Whiskey. What am I, 12? How about you, hot stuff? Water. Number two, more reshoots. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. State your name for the record. Jin Erso. Here's another film that went through significant changes due to reshoots, but by all accounts, those reshoots saved Rogue One. However, they also meant that several scenes from the trailers were left on the cutting room floor. So many, in fact, it's actually possible to piece together how the story might have changed. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. Where'd Jin Erso's badass rebellion line go? Jin staring down a TIE fighter? Krennic crossing the beach? As is the custom, the internet dissected, analyzed, and wrote think pieces on the Rogue One trailers. So these missing moments definitely stood out. They also make us think that, as much as we love the finished product, we can't wait to see what else didn't make the cut. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Let's just get this over with, shall we? Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Scream, man! Scream for your life! Number one, The Thing Drop. Fan Forstick. We gave you six years and millions of dollars and you gave us nothing. The most disappointing reason that scenes and trailers don't end up in the movie is that the filmmakers and the studio can't agree on the final cut. Such was the case with the notoriously bad Fantastic Four reboot. I just want to fix my friends. In fact, so many scenes featured were not used in the final film, this almost seems like the trailer to a different movie. Most notably, we missed an awesome sequence in which the thing jumps from an aircraft and lands with a bang. Fantastic Four was criticized for its grim tone, and ironically, we think that it could have been salvaged with the more fun and exciting sequences seen in the trailer. You can't fix this. Nobody can. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.